محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا ما يهده الله فلا مدل له وما يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الذي تساءلون به وأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكولوا كولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يتع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أستك الحديث كتاب الله وخير هدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر أمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار once again, our praise is due to Allah who jalla fi Allah. We lord him and magnify him. And we bear witness that there is nothing that deserves to be worshipped other than him, jalla fi Allah. And that Alameen, Abu Qasim, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu wa sallam alayhi, he is the finality of anbiya, of the rusul that was sent as the final guidance to guide mankind from the darkness into the light. Our topic for today, mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and soul. You think of the essence of the human beings, Ya Ikhwan. We consist of mind, body, and soul. The non-Muslims have written songs, mind, body, and soul. And some of the great scholars in Islam, they've discussed these issues in detail. So for our brothers that want a deep, in-depth study of it, you can find the works of Imam Abu Faraj, Ibn Jawzi, also a scholar that came 200 years after that was influenced by him, by the name of Abdul Qayyim, Ibn Qayyim, Rahimahullah. They talk in depth about this. But when we look at this, brothers, the mind, the body, the soul. The mind, it's yours, but others, they want to control it. The body, it belongs to you, but others, they want to buy it by giving you some small amounts of money so you can do some work for them. They want to buy your body for a little bit of activities. You have a job, you go to work, they use what they call manpower. So your body, people, they want to buy it. Yeah, Juan. But your soul, my dear brothers, it belongs to Allah. And unfortunately, yeah, Juan, there are people that sell their souls every day to the devil. We find, yeah, Juan, doing some research as for those that spend time on the internet because they've been on lockdown or they can't go out to work or there's not much to do. You find some very interesting things on the internet, Yahwan. 
And we don't want to get too deep for you, brothers, but we've come across something very interesting where they have some people, they say that they've been affected by what they call MK Ultra Mind Control. And long before that, Ya Ikhwan, we find that Shaitan Lanatullah Alayhi, he's been trying his best to control the minds of the Muslims as well as the non-Muslims. We're talking about mind, body, and soul. And before I was a Muslim, Ya Ikhwan, I seen this with my own eyes firsthand, and I'm sure my brother Abu Hafsa, he knows about this as well. Before I was a Muslim, I seen, Ya Ikhwan, where people's emotions were taken this way and that way. Ya Ikhwan, I can remember as a young boy hanging out with some of my cousins going to a club. All the girls were sitting on the side, Ya Ikhwan. And I can see my cousin talk to his buddy and they said at that time, play a funky beat so the girls can come and they can sway back and forth and do what they're supposed to do. We want to get this club jumping. And all he did is he took the needle and he put it on a record and the music was a whole different type of music that all of a sudden something came into the women where they decided that they want to dance. We're talking about mind, body, soul, ya ikhwan. So this music, ya ikhwan, there's something called music engineers. Those that go and they learn how to raise different frequencies and what some call the chakras in your body. And as Muslims, we don't believe in this that they want the people to move and gyrate their body in a certain way, ya ikhwan. And we find, unfortunately, that even the Muslims are involved in this stuff too. We find, ya ikhwan, that my cousin said, now the party's jumping, the girls are moving and grooving, this is great. And money was spent to do this, and money is still spent to do this. And I have cousins that are still downtown in the clubs that aren't Muslim, that are telling me that they see with their eyes Muslims from every country, male and female, in the clubs, Ya Ikhwan. We're talking about mind, body, soul. Then we find, Ya Ikhwan, they make movies. And being in North America, I'm pretty sure that everybody here has watched at least one movie in their life. They write what they call sometimes those that win the Academy Award. They write sometimes what is called a tearjerker. You watch the movie, you listen to the music, you watch the sounds, and all of a sudden a tear comes out of your eye because they've pulled on your heartstrings, Ya Ikhwan. We're talking about mind, body, and soul, Ya Ikhwan. We find, Ya Ikhwan, that sometimes even the lighting can affect, Ya Ikhwan, people's ability to consume more information. As on Netflix and Cyberflix and all these type of things, you have what is known as binge watching. And there's companies, Ya Ikhwan, that we find that during this COVID, they have thrived, Ya Ikhwan, thrived on this. And we look at the Muslim, Ya Ikhwan. Have we been thriving on the book and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Or is it something that we just pull off the shelf, blow off a little bit of dust, and then we read it? Mind, body, soul. Ya Ikhwan, we're talking about the science known as Ilm al-Nafs. They call psychology. Dealing with the sight, the eyes, the smells, the nose, the sounds, the ears. We're looking, Ya Ikhwan, at the mind, which is supposed to be the aql, the body, which is the jism, and the soul, which is supposed to be the nafs. These days, Ya Ikhwan, many people, they can't tell what is real and what is not real. What is real and what is fiction in their own life, Ya Ikhwan. But there is a reality, brothers, the psyche. It is something here in North America, Ya Ikhwan, which is really important. Because our children, Ya Ikhwan, they are affected more than the parents with these devices that we have, Ya Ikhwan, and we become very addicted to it. So much so, Ya Ikhwan, that a father, he took away the devices from his daughters and they became depressed. So much so that a father, he took it away from him, Ya Ikhwan, and the daughter did all types of horrible things, Ya Ikhwan. This is going on day and night, Ya Ikhwan, where people, they can't cope without their so-called technology. The question that comes now, brothers, the psyche, the eyes, the ears, the heart, they're in a constantly being bombarded with the subliminal mind manipulation and the pollution to love with, Ya Ikhwan, of the nafs. 
We're talking about the eyes that see and they witness. We're talking about the ears that hear and they witness. And we're talking about the heart, ya akhwan, and mutalaqbat. It goes back and forth where the niyyah comes from. Critical thinking, ya akhwan, has disappeared. Brother, what does this have to do about the book and the sunnah, ya akhwan? Qala Allah Ta'ala, a'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa la taqfu ma laysa laka bihi al-'ilm inna as-sam'a wal-basar wa fu'ada kullu ulaika kana anhu mas'ula Ya akhwan Ya akhwan This ayah here Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala he's talking about how our sight and our hearing and our hearts will be questioned, Ya Ikhwan. They'll be questioned about what we let into them, Ya Ikhwan. What we witness, what we see. Sometimes we see oppression in front of us. And because our Iman is weak, but it's still from the weakness of Iman, we don't say too much. And this is the situation of the Muslims these days, Ya Ikhwan. Where we are people who see things. And as they say, they have what they call, and this is in North American culture, see no evil. Hear no evil, speak no evil, ya ikhwan. Just mind your own business. Don't worry about what's going on. But ya ikhwan, that might be okay in society as a whole because maybe you don't have the power. But what about on your watch with your own children, ya ikhwan, and your own families, your own relatives, where you have some power and some position over them, and you see your family do something wrong, are you just always in a state of saqootan, saqootan, you have nothing to say? Say something for Allah, if there's wisdom in it. Tell them that it is wrong. Tell them that Allah is watching. Say something. Because, ya ikhwan, people are doing evil right in front of the masjid sometimes, ya ikhwan. Or in the masjid. I've seen with my own eyes Muslim kids sell marijuana just outside of many masjids in the city of Toronto, ya ikhwan. After they were just sitting in Quran class, they came out, one of their friends came, and they sold their friends some marijuana, Yahweh. So I went and I said to the Sheikh, Sheikh, aren't you going to say something? He said, well, it's now 4 o'clock. I'm not working anymore. I'm done. I'm done for the day. What am I going to say? I work from 9 to 4. Imagine this, Yahweh. What happened to the institution of Amr al Ruf and Nahil al-Bunkar? Promoting the good and forbidding the evil, Yahweh. There's a time and a place, and it has its mu'ani, it has Yahweh, it has its rules. And you have to, Ya Ikhwan, have hikmah. There's a time and there's a place. We're talking about, Ya Ikhwan, mind, body, and soul, Ya Ikhwan. This is a battle, Ya Ikhwan. There's a deep battle going on for the soul. There's a deep battle going on for the mind, Ya Ikhwan. And even our bodies, Ya Ikhwan, the foods that are so addictive. And I'm a person, I'm a recovering addict. I love Pie, I love ice cream. I'm trying to get rid of it, Yahwan. But it keeps calling me, come and eat me. This is a psyche, Yahwan, that happens in a reality that many of the people they don't understand. As a young kid growing up, I can remember Yahwan, my parents, they started me out going to this place that has some beautiful yellow arches. And this place, Yahwan, they used to take me there. And when I would see my friends with that beautiful yellow arches, Yahwan, I wanted it too. So what about every other company that's calling our hearts, Ya Ikhwan? Whatever they are. It's a battle, it's a war going on for our heart, Ya Ikhwan. And on top of that, Ya Ikhwan, we know two of the things that the Prophet ﷺ, he told us about. The shubha and the shahawat. The desires and the doubts, Ya Ikhwan. We're dealing in time where the Muslims, they have so much doubts. And we're dealing in time where the Muslims have so much desires, Ya Ikhwan. The question is, is that we're always trying to plug in but when are we going to plug out, Ya Ikhwan? This is something, Ya Ikhwan, that we need to understand. We are so connected to the wrong things. We're not connected, Ya Ikhwan, to what is known as Al-Musadir At-Talaqi. The ancient sources that the scholars have written down for us. Beautiful books from the scholars. If I was to name some of them, Ya Ikhwan, I would probably see that the vast majority of the Muslims never heard of those scholars. But Ya Ikhwan, they have better gems in them than what we have, Ya Ikhwan, on the internet. Ya Ikhwan, there comes a time where I have to tell you, brothers, some people, they ask me to do some stuff. And depending upon how I feel, whether I have a headache, whether I'm being stressed out by my family members or even some of my friends, I have to tell them, I can't help you out. I say, why, brother? 
So, Akhi, my heart ain't in it, brother. I can't help you out right now. Maybe next week when I feel a little bit better. So it is human, ya Ikhwan, for us sometimes not to want to do some good positive things. But don't sit out on the sideline for too long, my dear brothers. And sometimes, ya Ikhwan, this feeling of isolation, ya Ikhwan, I feel sometimes that my senses, ya Ikhwan, in terms of what's going on in my head, sometimes, ya Ikhwan, I got to sit on the sideline. Sometimes I have to sit on the sideline. That's okay. But then there comes a time, brothers, where you got to get up and you got to do something. So the al-hawas, oyun, which is for the basr. Rih, anf, which is for the smell. Dhawq, taste, which is for the mouth. Sam'a, al-udhin, which is for the ears. Lamps, touch, ya akhwan, is so how we can see what's going on, ya akhwan. Ya akhwan, these are the keys sometimes to self-sabotage. Self-sabotage, ya akhwan. Those cakes and those things that call us, that extra piece of food, ya akhwan, it can destroy our life. May Allah help me and may Allah help you. Allah Ta'ala, he goes on to say, ya akhwan, Wallahu akhrajakum min butuni umuhatikum. La ta'lamuna shay'an. Wa ja'ala lakum as-sam'a wa absar wa al-af'idah. La allakum tashkurun. Allah Ta'ala goes on to say, Ya Ikhwan, and Allah, He extracted you from your mother's wombs, not knowing anything. So before you were a lawyer, before you were a doctor, before you were an engineer, before you were an Uber driver, you were just a young kid not knowing anything, Ya Ikhwan. And Allah, He allowed you to learn. And then He made you, and He gave you the ability to hear. And He gave you the ability of sight. And He gave you the ability of intellect, Ya Ikhwan. So Ya Ikhwan, perhaps we as Muslims, we need to do better than what we're doing with what we let into our mind, our body, and our soul. Akula kula hadha, wasafar tu bilayk wa salam, wasmayin ajma'in fa saqfuruhu, innahu wa ghafurrahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين وأصلي وأسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. The mind, the body, the soul. Who really are we, يا إخوان? As the days are going, as the nights are going, as the years are going, when they describe me, when they describe you, when they put us down in the ground. What would they say to our children and our grandchildren, the people that came after us? What were we? Were we people, ya ikhwan, that tried to get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal? Or were we people that were caught up in the dunya? Qala Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Inna allaha la yandhuru ila ajsamikum, wala ila sawarikum, walakin yandhuru ila qulubikum wa a'amalikum. Muqam Muqala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's hadith is in Imam Muslim in his narrations. Verily Allah, He does not look at your bodies, nor at your appearances, but He looks at your hearts and He looks at your deeds. Ya Ikhwan, when we look at each other as human beings, we sum up a brother, this brother's tall, this brother's short, this brother's fat, this brother's skinny, and we look at a person, this brother has nice shoes, this brother has horrible shoes, this brother has nice clothes. We look at the people and what the possessions that they have, Ya Ikhwan. Allah Azza wa Jal, He doesn't look like that. He looks to see what's our inner, Ya Ikhwan. We find from this hadith, verily Allah, He does not look at your bodies, nor at your appearances. A person these days, Ya Ikhwan, they can look like a million bucks and really not be worth two cents, Ya Ikhwan, if you understand what I'm saying. They can be worth a million bucks, but not really be worth two cents, Ya Ikhwan. But He looks at your hearts, and He looks at your deeds. Brothers, I know that my heart has a lot of rust on it, and it has some evils in it, and this has to do with me dealing and being around some of my non-Muslim family members, Ya Ikhwan. But I'm trying to give them da'wah. And I know sometimes, Ya Ikhwan, I need to turn up my da'wah, my volume, or else their da'wah and their volume of what they're calling to will drown me out. And that's why as Muslims, Ya Ikhwan, living in this time right now, I find it hard to believe, Ya Ikhwan, hard that Muslims, I find it hard to believe that Muslims right now, they don't know which way, which direction they're headed. 
Ya Khwan, the direction is always to Allah, for fearu illallah. Always the direction is to Allah. Don't get caught up, Ya Khwan, in confusion. Inshallah Ta'ala, we want to just, Inshallah Ta'ala, give you a couple of narrations of that famous Imam, Ibn Jawzi, and his book called Sayyid al-Khatir. It's called The Captured Thoughts. And he went on to say, whoever follows their mere senses, has, is doomed. And whoever follows the critical mind is safe. Because while the senses only perceive the present life, the mind observes the creation and deduces the existence of the creator who granted and permitted life, Yahweh. Think about those words of the Sheikh. Also, he went on to say, I looked into the wisdom of food and drink and clothing and marriage, and I came to the realization that since man is created from sources that decay, meaning that our body, Yahweh, will turn to dust and Whatever parasites are in our stomach will come and eat our body, Yahweh. He goes on to say, such as water, dust, fire, air, and its survival is dependent on heat, Yahweh, meaning that you have some blood still going in your body, Yahweh. He must have something to compensate such the decay, Yahweh. We're all going to die. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiu. My dear brothers, this is a warning. Be careful. I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging me. I'm encouraging all the brothers be mindful of what goes into our mind, our body, and be careful who you let close to you while they're trying to negotiate taking your soul. As the Prophet said in one hadith, which is very long, Yabi'udini bi eradin min dunya, that a person will sell their deen for a small part of the dunya. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala Ibrahim fil alameen ina ka hamil majid. Allahumma barak ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala alameen fil alameen ka majid. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to send his salat in salam on the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to his family, to his children, to his wives, and all those people who really love him and follow his sunnah. And we ask Allah to forgive us and to protect our mind, our body, and our soul. And we ask our brother, Al-Khana, Al-Akh, Al-Fadil, to lead the Salat, inshallah ta'ala. Al-Hafsa, Al-Makhlaf. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله مسكن 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 استقيموا يرحمكم الله صد الخلق الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والسماء ذات البروج واليوم الموعود وشاهد ومشهود قتل أصحاب الأخدود النار ذات الوقود إذ هم عليها قعود 
وهم على ما يفعلون بالمؤمنين شهود وما نقموا منهم إلا أن يؤمنوا بالله العزيز الحميد الذي له ملك السماوات والأرض والله على كل شيء شهيد إن الذين فتنوا المؤمنين والمؤمنات ثم لم يتوبوا فلهم عذاب جهنم ولهم عذاب الحريق إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات لهم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ذلك الفوز الكبير الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين إن بطش ربك لشديد إنه هو يبدئ ويعيد وهو الغفور الودود ذو العرش المجيد فعال لما يريد هل أتاك حديث الجنود فرعون وثمود بل الذين كفروا في تكذيب والله من ورائهم محيط بل هو قرآن مجيد في لوح محفوظ الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله خير شيخ يا 